Hi everybody, Miss Kelly from the Wakanda Area Library here to show you what we're doing with this month's Art to Go kit. This month you guys will be making dragonflies. So in your kit you're going to find some pipe cleaners, you're going to find some googly eyes and some beads and a strip of magnet. And from home you'll need some scissors and some glue. So let's get started. So I'm going to choose three. So I'm going to use the softer fuzzy one for the body and these two sparkly ones for the wings. So you need three for each one that you're gonna use. So you're gonna take the body and evenly fold it in half. So just line up those ends and then kind of pinch it on the bottom. And then you're gonna slide your beads on. I think the beads most of you got might be a little bit smaller than these. So you can do nine beads for the body. I think I only need to do about six on mine. Mine are a little bit bigger. Just keep in mind when you're working with these pipe cleaners, at the end there is a little piece of metal in there and sometimes it's a little sharp and a little pokey. Slide one more on there. Okay, so I've got my body done. All right, next you're gonna take the two that we're making wings with and you'll take one and end to end, just wrap it around into a circle and overlap them a little bit. Twist them together, this is where it can get pokey, just keep them flat. And then push them together right in the middle, right where you did that join. So it looks about even, okay? And then in the other one, you're going to take your scissors and cut off about two inches. You don't have to measure. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then do the same thing with a longer piece that you have left over. Twist those together nice and flat. And that'll be your second set of wings. So you're going to start with the smaller set of wings first. And you'll open up those two ends. Slide that in between. Make sure it's centered so both wings look like the same size and give that a twist. And then add your larger set of wings. Same thing, make sure it's centered. And then give that a twist. So right there, you've got your two sets of wings. They're easy to slide back and forth at this point. So if you need to even them out a little bit, you can do that. So, and then we're gonna take another bead and slide it, these two ends, in together, a little tricky. All right, push that down tight. All right, so now you're gonna hold it by that bead we just put on and take those two ends and just kind of flat, turn them in on themselves like this, kind of rolling them into a circle like that. So and you're gonna end up like that. So let's grab our glue, a couple little dots. I said any glue will work. I always just use this one because it dries a little quicker so I can show you guys a little easier. And a couple little eyes on there. So I included a strip of magnet that's easily cut with scissors in your kit. Oops, lost an eye. So if you want to make it magnetic, you can do that. You can cut a piece of this magnet strip very easily with your scissors. And if you have access to a hot glue gun, that works really good to glue it on the back but you can just glue it on here and let it, you've got to really got to let it dry. Um, but, or if you want, if you have one of these, a little key ring or a little carabiner, you can always remember there's a little loop on the end here. So if you can open up that little loop and pop it through there, you can make it into something that could be easily put on your backpack. There's your little one. Here's another one that I made into the, a magnetic one. There you go. Have fun guys, let me see some of the pictures of what you do and keep your eye out for next month's art to go. Bye now.